All right, all right. Welcome back, heavy duty crew. It is October 24th, about 8 p.m. on a Thursday. We're here at an empty gym. Here to get it done. I'd have liked to have come earlier, but I had some steps to get in after work. And I'll have some more after I finish training. But tomorrow will be officially seven days, seven weeks out. So uh, the clock's ticking. I'm not gonna think about it too much. I think about it too much already. Will I be ready? Am I getting bit better shape? It, X, Y, Z, blah, 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 blah. But coming into the gym tonight, I look in the mirror, I see improvements already. Getting more shape, getting leaner. The lines are deeper. No fat burners or anything in yet, just getting in steps. Same diet we started with almost five weeks ago and changes are coming through. Got my training log here and we're gonna just train like it's any other session of the year, you know, as hard as we possibly can. The only variation in our uh, isolateral preacher curl is that I'm just gonna do it standing today. Uh, my boy, Humberto, I watched one of his videos earlier and, and he was showing that he feels that it's a lot more stable standing as opposed to sitting. And I could kind of agree with that. And while warming up, I liked the way that was. So a couple more warm up reps. So you're just gonna stand up over it, get in a good position. Can strictly pull through my bicep. Keeps my elbow like really sunk in. It's not lifting up. I like that a lot. I'd say we're looking pretty, pretty juicy. Seeing as how we're not on any trend yet and we're not on any orals. Just a little bit of test, low dose of Masteron, 400 milligrams of Venethate. It ain't even really kicked in yet. Only been on that for two weeks. I wanna succeed guys. Ah! Fuck yeah, this is heavy. Yes. Six reps with an assisted one. Absolutely savage. On the bunk arm. Let's go ahead and hit this right arm. Oh! I got the whole so much blood flow, so much pressure, so much effort that the whole body got a got a pump, <laughs> the whole upper body. Well, let's move on to the uh, the rope hammers. Oh, hey there! Just hanging out on the machine here. We're gonna do something a little different here too. And shout out to my boy Humberto, High Intensity Babes on Instagram, a phenomenal heavy duty high intensity trainer like myself. I've learned some things from the man. I've applied some of the things the man teaches. I've run through the process and it produces results. So one of the big things Humberto and I are really huge on is stabilization. Well, he showed me a way to stabilize these hammer curls. So it's simply like this, guys. I lean up against the machine with my arm against it. I don't want to pin my elbow against it because I don't want my elbow grinding on it as I'm curling, but you know, the tricep and shoulder pressed evenly against it and I'm stabilized. Ingenious, right? Just come around to the other side and the cable is running right on the outside of my arm to the front. So it's not in the way, it's not impeding anything. Just ingenious, man. The people I've met in this journey from my, who is now my best friend, Phil, my prep coach, to guys like Humberto, you know, I've met Marcus Reinhardt. I met some amazing, incredible people. And we're all men of thought. We're all men of reason. We've all come across knowledge that is valuable and we share it between each other, other freely. And I'm sharing it with you guys. So this is heavy, 35 pounds. Uh. 
Damn little butt plug handle is tearing me up, man. Just trying to hold on and I'm pinching the, pinching the meat on my hand. I gotta get myself a assisted negative. Well, we got five reps on that arm. Wow, there it is right there. That's all we wanted. Beautiful. See, this one isn't pumped up, but it will be. And that's what we're looking at right there. Oh yeah. Yeah, thanks Roberto. This is fantastic. I just don't like that handle. I don't like grabbing the rubber part either. To find a better attachment to do this stuff. The ropes are too long, so it's actually bottoming out and I'm not able to go all the way down with tension. Hey, we do what we do. Days. Ooh. Five and six reps. Oh yeah, man. That, all that forearm and the toasted. Let's go hit some triceps. Man, when I was doing that hammer curl set, I Will Return by the Black Dahlia Murder was playing and I wanted to go karaoke mode, but oh, it's such a good track. So here we are, tricep focus dip machine. You're always getting a little too big for this, honestly. With the handles inside, I've realized that now I'm gonna have to cross my legs so that it'll pass my quads and I'll have to move my thumbs out of the way, but it's fair enough. I did a couple little warm up sets, made sure the triceps were primed. Gotta be careful with the right side because man, it contracting hard at the end. It feels pretty sharp, so take my time on it and just bail if it gets too ugly. Watch my elbow in relation to my torso, how I'm keeping it tucked, how I'm letting it get behind me and then pushing through. I might flip this machine over. Oh, yeah, that's heavy. Involuntary slowing of the implement. Mechanical tension's right there. That was failure. And the elbow was wanting to come out. Everything's tiring out, getting exhausted. My body's wanting to compensate, try to bring in other things into the equation. Pecs are not warmed up. We're not training pecs, so I don't want them coming in. Not with a load like that, but that was a good one. I need to go heavier though. Too many reps on that. Man, those things. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, look at all that. That's gonna be cool when I'm peeled. I just need to breathe after that. That was, that was tough. Yeah, I'd say we're tightening up, hardening up a little bit. Oh, what's that? What's all that? All right, uh, single hand tricep push down. 
I've explained it before. I never want to grab these things in that um, that pronated position or that neutral grip because it just puts too much wrist into place. So I like the straight angle, the straight handle in a good position on it. Something solid to push through. Elbow position in relation to the torso, uh, slightly in front of my hips. I don't want to get behind because that's going to track back into that long head. If I push from there, really feeling it toward the outside area, which is what we want. Arms are getting tired. That set of dips was brutal. So let's see if we could do something with this. Oh, that's heavy for a single hand. Oh, my God. Okay, failure on the sixth. That's money. We'll go for seven next time. Oh, ooh, look at that angle, huh? Oh. Ah. Uh, might have been six or seven reps. I'll go for seven better reps next time I come to train. All right, it's time to perform. We're gonna go up five pounds to the 25. If we don't get a full five reps, we're gonna drop set. Actually, we're gonna drop set either way. Again, I may have done 25 last time. Thinking back, I might actually have, but I'm not gonna go up to 30. So I'm gonna aim to beat reps, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit a drop. I'm gonna pray and ask the Lord to protect my body. Something in this, uh, this bicep where it ties into that shoulder right there, real tight at a certain position, and I'd rather not pop it off. Father in heaven, protect my body. Let this prayer be heard by those listening not to shout upon the rooftops for mine own glory, but so that they see your hand of protection on your son. And let me glorify you in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Awesome. That was awesome. Well, I didn't feel any of that impingement. Thank you. And I could have went heavier actually, so we definitely did 25 last time because I got almost 10 reps there, but that's stellar. I'll let you guys see the other side. Let's go. Get our lean on. One. Wow, that was a doozy. Jesus, light is so horrible. I even want to stand in and talk to you guys. Oh yeah, that's better, huh? That was an incredible set. Definitely did the job. Couldn't pull with the shoulders anymore. Dropped the weight almost in half. Just a few reps. And look at the, the roundness and the fullness. Just one set. It's all you need, guys, if you do it right. But you know that, that's why you're here. So I'm gonna go ahead. If I can find a decent spot to pose, and I think it looks good, I'll show you guys. But if you don't see me, I love you all. Thanks for watching. Try the workout. Shout out to Humberto again. Check him out on the Instagram. 
high intensity babes on Instagram. He trains female bikini girls in the same heavy duty training style that we do here for a bodybuilder, an open bodybuilder. So just goes to show that it's for everyone because it works. It works on everyone. It works for everyone. It's the amount of food and the amount of drugs you want to use that determines how big and far you get, right? With the right genetics. Try this workout. Thanks for watching the video. Throw me a like, throw some comments, please share it. Follow us on all the other social media platforms. TikTok from yours truly coming soon. Trying to branch out. Instagram's kind of got me locked up. Count's not growing. I've got some features that are disabled. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. We want to make moves. I want this thing to blow up and grow up. So hopefully we'll keep pushing on towards nationals at our biggest and best ever. And we'll show the whole world the new Mike Mincer, the new heavy duty. I'm out guys. Peace.